nine of the primary three. So here, we'll still be continuing with ordinary differential equations. Okay, so for this time, okay, so first, before we start, in the past, what we have, we have done the, about the integrating factor, right? So now we'll still be with the integrating factor. But I just change it a little. So, wait a second. Why right here do I have a PX? So, since we don't have a PX, then it will become... You can write it like this. Then, other than that, we have will have a y equal to q x. But every time, every time, we always wanted to find height about y is y. So, oh uh, now, what if we move this part to here? But it is impossible because that this part cannot move to here as this is this directive. And plus d is equal to d over dx. So it's impossible. So here, like this. But how can we do it? Okay, so oh, would that remind you of something? Okay, so actually, matrix. But matrix will I the uh, really talk about much. Okay, so let's see. For matrix, we've learned that A times A inverse is equal to oh, I, Ryan. A inverse times A is also equal to I. So basically, these two are equal. AI is equal to A. IA is also equal to A. So after we know this, actually, for example, if you say that A is like this, that's an example. We can't really calculate it out. This is matrix. But what's this? It's something more different. This, this is determinant. And for this question, actually the answer is zero. Okay? So here, and so I is the unit matrix. So in the future, we'll talk more about this matrix, okay? So now, let's get back to here. How, how can we do it? Since you say this, wait a second. But in, since it go here, it become an A. So does inverse A means 1 over A? Does it mean? No. This is completely wrong. And so does sine, for example, you say sine inverse something, for example, sine inverse sine x. But, okay, this depends. In one case, it cannot. It doesn't equals to 1 over sine x. Okay? Although we might always say, if y is equal to sine x, then x will equal to inverse sine y. It's just that these two are opposite, but they aren't 1 over. This is it. But if you are saying, for example, well, 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 1 over 2, for example, like this, this is because of the power. It's not inverse. This is not the reciprocal. So since we know this, 
means that inverse uh, inverse function is not equal to 1 over the function. Okay? So after we know this, what else can we know? So oh, when we get this to this, it's actually, it doesn't really mean that. But what if I wrote? Since you say you need to use the if, right? So the integrating factor for this case, it is equals to, oh, let's see, for if, e to the power of integral dx, since in front don't have anything. So it becomes e to the power of x. So become e to the power of x, right? Becomes. Here, why don't we call this i first? But since we already know it, so we just write it as e to the power of x. Whereas here we need to use the total differentiation and then it will become um, the e to the power of x y which is equal to e to the power of x q x. It becomes like this. Then if we both find integral and move this to this part, then oh wait. So let me first give let me first give an extra step if you don't understand. So here becomes e to the power of x dy plus e to the power of x y dx plus q I mean equals to qx dx. And in front you have an e to the power of x. So it becomes like this. So y will equals to e to the power of negative x integral e to the power of x qx dx. So basically we'll get this. So this will be so when we just get something for a number like this, then we we'll straight away can get this part. But what if I change something? So, uh, get a quick look before I erase. So wait. And your friend take here. So what if I say, okay, in front it's still the same for this part. Then, and why? This n is a constant. Con means that it has constant coefficient. Qx, like this. Then what will happen? Will the same thing happen? Okay, so if you want to know the if, instead of it becoming x, it becomes nx, as n is a constant. Then, will we get it inside here? We'll get dy d e to the power of nx dy plus. So this is a, for the first part. The for the next part become e to the power of nx, and if I still have a n like this. That equals to e to the power of nx. Anyway, I missed out something. Qx dx. So it becomes like this. So since it becomes like this, so it becomes. Although here I skip it. Okay, so here we got e to the power of nx. Why? Is it like this? Yes. Then, here, 
will have the Ether Puff NX, QX, VX. Okay, then here becomes Y. Then this time, Y will equal to Ether Puff NX integral Ether Puff nx qx dx so after you know this okay so here it's always first derivative why don't we make it a bit harder why don't we change it to the second derivative anyway if i notice this if n was one here will become one one so it's the same so since it's like this so okay first get a quick look before I change on to the next theme over here. Okay, it will need more time because. So here's, now we'll have to know what will happen if I'll make a quantity and I'll sell it. Why don't I make it a little harder? Instead of first derivative, why don't we have second derivative? Since you already know that this step will already go to this step, so oh, why don't I first write down the question? That's a simple one, x. So let's see. For this part, it will become like this, right? But although we already said that it's impossible, but since here we already get it out, here already get it out, so we only imagine, we only see that if it is possible, if it's really possible. We do it as if it's possible. So it becomes like this. Everything is possible. And then this will equal to x over d plus 1 times d plus 2. And then equals to x over d plus 1 minus x over d plus 2. And since you already know this, so we can straight away sub it in. But there's one thing. Okay, so for the first part, you will straight away follow this. So here minus e to the power. Then where things go a little bit different. Oh wait, just so fast. So like this, right? Then after that, after we get this, what can we do? So let's see. Um, so if you need some time to look at this, get a quick look. If you need some time, pause. Okay. So like this. This then, how can we continue? Let's see. This part, we'll have to put in one part. Because here I have two parts. So we'll have to use integral by parts. So this case, we'll have to put this here. And then this part minus. Then we'll have to put out two. 
And I eat with Paul McIntyre. So like this, then we can use integral by parts, okay? So for the integral by parts, here, the first part, these two will cancel. So what's so special about this is that when we go to that part at first, but we have noticed that since it's like this, we specifically move this here as and why does we use one at first? Because it is a special case. If it's a constant in front. So let's see. So here, this part becomes x minus, let's see, x minus e to the power of negative x integral e to the power of x dx minus half x plus e to the power of negative 2x integral e to the power of 2x D X like this step after that add a C wait okay so usually we will add a C right oh wait you need a half wait so if it's like this then after that so you might say that there's no C, but at last you'll see that what if there is and what if there isn't. So this part does will become one, then minus half. Plus 1 over 4, then plus C2. Well, here, let's see. This part half become a half x, right? And then plus the C. But wait a second, if we sub it in here, okay, so let's see. If we sub it in here, is it equal to this? So this part, it would become a, an x plus c, then this part become just, so let's see what will happen to this part, this part becomes half, then 3 over 2 plus the c no more, then this part is a 0, so this become, wait a second, it's a c, so cannot, so why don't we change it? What if we don't have a c? Then this whole thing will change and it will become half x minus 3 over 4. What will happen if I do it like that? Then this part will become a x minus 3 over 2. Then this part becomes a, let's see, half 3 over 2 again. So 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2, 0, perfect. So in this case, we don't have C. But, okay, so here, does that remind something? Okay, so here, it is somewhat similar uh, to a uh, particular solution, but it's not exact. So although it is similar, but there's one thing is that at the both the uh, homogeneous solution and the particular solution are important. So um, for here, you have noticed that here we don't need the C. 
Even though it's indefinite integral, but we don't need a C. So now we'll end here. Next time we'll continue for more. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button below. And thank you for your watching.